the life of a goldfish. It seems simple on the surface, but it is much deeper than one suspects. On the surface, it may just appear to be a fish aimlessly swimming around a fish tank until it perishes. But that is definitely not the case. The goldfish is one of the most spiritual creatures to ever live. The fish starts its day swimming in intricate patterns. Cultural oceanographers believe that these movements are a procedure more associated with ritual dance. If the dance is not performed properly, the guardian will view them as lifeless and leave them unfed. When the dance is performed to the guardian's liking, it will conjure flakes of nourishment. The fish will then eat the food that is raining on it from above, making sure that every morsel has been consumed before continuing the rest of its day. After the goldfish has finished its daily communion, it likes to take a break and play. He is allowed this time to enjoy himself and not worry about his duties as a devout follower. Now he's showing great devotion to his idol, which commemorates the guardian that watches over him. He kisses the idol, thanking it for all it has provided. The fish is praising the idol, groveling before its massive size and structure. Goldfish truly admire their idols and are faithful to them until the inevitable end. Time has passed and our friend is starting to show some signs of weariness. The fish slows up and begins to rest. He commences by rotating onto his back and ascends to his apotheosis. At this point, the Great Guardian scoops up the goldfish with a holy vessel. The fish gracefully soars through the firmament toward the Great Whirlpool. And as we say our last farewells to our friend, let's have a moment of silence on his behalf. The life of a goldfish may look simple on the surface, but it is much deeper than one suspects.